We actually did purposely try to involve some performances. So yesterday we had an ambulatory performance that will come back on Sunday, and we have scheduled performances in the booths. And I think that just gives visitors, um, when you walk around a fair, sometimes you lose a sense of time, and it, it gives people you know, a place to be and an, and an a, event to see. And then I think it regenerates them to get ready and go walk more corridors and engage with more art. So we really schedule those performances throughout the day, every two or three hours. It's a bit like taking a rest stop every two hours while you're driving. So you, know, you can go and get re rejuvenated. Uh, it's like a minimalist dance. Uh, moves I've been collecting over the last six months. And then I uh, sort of assign this arbitrary order. And I'm going to sort of like just blow through them. It'll be pretty short, maybe 12 to 15 minutes. Like keep it casual, no pain, none of this gnarly like macho performance thing that a lot of people do. Um, you know, I'll try to charm people a little bit. <laughs> this is a sort of a different way I did it this time. Uh, I'll always like uh, I'll watch people like how they stand, or um, I'll try to catch myself when I'm not thinking of uh, my how my body's positioned, and then try to memorize that position or memorize other people's like body language. So the booklet is like, uh, you know, drawings of the little movements. The paintings are kind of like backdrops, you know. So if people get bored of watching me, they can look at the paintings or they can look at the, you know, they can look at the space or they can just move on. That's nice, too. <laughs> the, the title of the piece is called Centerpiece. And uh, that video is a pretty straightforward video piece where... I'm challenging my body, I'm challenging my own endurance, I'm trying to push my own limits, if you will, and also work with the idea of basically taking on a very selfish act and a very painful act, uh, and then trying to remove myself from it. But all the while, you know, after pounding a nail in your foot and pulling your foot off of it and trying to walk away from it, um, at the back end of that, you're going to have many, many months of re rehabilitation. Um, again, the connection to the other works in the, the exhibition are also very lonely and very uh, vast in the space, but with nothing in it. And that's a, a big part of it. I'm, I used to perform in public, and now I'm more interested in being... Uh large paintings, several galleries said, oh, we thought all the small ones would go first, but they've sold really major pieces. I think people are ready to come back and, you know, uh, really get some monumental pieces for their collection. I, but it's gone very well. The first day um, was uh, very busy. There were tons of people in the booth. I was struggling to talk to multiple individuals at the same time, and, and it was uh, challenging but fun, and they've been uh, good sales. And uh, I think it's been a really good opportunity, so I'm happy to be here.